Hi, my name is Meta Hamaguchi and I'm the Director of Instruction for Learning Services and I'm going to share a little bit with you today about our plans for meeting the needs of our diverse learners. Number one, we are so excited to have kids back in school and we look forward to a return. Our number one priority, as you've heard in many presentations, is that we expect a safe return for students. We're working very hard on a number one priority being minimizing physical contact and maximizing physical distancing. Where we're not able to physically distance, uh, uh, we are going to be looking at providing masks to all of our staff and our students. Face shields will be provided for students uh, with low incidence where staff require a specialized procedure or specialized service. The kinds of services we're looking at would be for a speech and language pathologist, a psychologist, where physically distancing, adequate physically distancing may not be possible. Some of our outside agencies as well, working with the Vancouver Pediatric Team, occupational therapists and physiotherapists, they are following the Vancouver Coastal Health Guidelines as laid out by Bonnie Henry. For in-class instruction and the return to work under the Stage 2 plan of the government's restart plan, all services and supports for students will resume. We are looking forward to having kids come back and have their needs met through our resource teachers, our psychologists, our speech paths, a support staff where appropriate. So if we have students that require SSA support or student support worker support or youth and family worker support, we'll be implementing that again. Counselors may be the appropriate uh, avenue for students. In school, all of those services will, will resume as usual. Intervention from those support staff will include observing physical distancing as the number one priority. Where they're not able to observe physical distancing and have to engage in closer proximity, we will look to using our masks and our face shields. Parents have heard a lot about options and particularly through the survey we are currently uh, working on. Parents are encouraged to fill out the survey. It closes on Thursday. Uh, we're hoping to ensure that parents uh, have the opportunity to give voice to what their needs are for their students. Our number one hope is that students return to school in full. Where that's not possible, homeschooling, Vancouver Learning Network is an opportunity for students. The other is home, uh, ho hospital homebound. That is specifically for students that have some significant medical conditions and we are looking for uh, certain criteria in order for students to be able to access the hospital homebound program. The survey is really helping to support us in developing a plan uh, that we hope to be able to share with you by the end of the week and that is that transition program. It is under construction, it's an opportunity for you to give feedback into what the needs are of a variety of kids. Please ensure that you fill out the survey. Our number one priority is that we really hope to have kids return to school uh, the first day back and we look forward to meeting the needs of those kids with all of their typical peers and all of their typical uh, supports and staff so we're really excited to return to school. Thank you.